we get these people out of our government, oh, if we get rid of the Maxine Waters and the, the, the Nancy Pelosi's and the Elizabeth Warren's and the Chuck Schumer's, oh my gosh, it's just like blast off. Because there's so many people that they just believe all their lies. I mean, they're just flat out liars. I just can't even, I, honestly, I can't even believe how big of liars they are. I, I, it's, it's stunning. The, 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 Elizabeth Warren just goes out in a crowd of people and just lies. Just lie, 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 lie. Eric Swalwell goes on television and just lies, 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 lies. <sighs> I'm sorry. I, it's just, it, it frustrates me. How can I not be frustrated? But I need to focus because we're taking your calls now. In the next two segments, this segment and the next, I'm taking your calls. What would you like to thank President Trump for today? So we're going to put you on air. Say your piece. Thank President Trump, and then we're going to move on to the next caller. So I just ask that you come right on, thank President Trump for whatever it is you want to thank him for today, and then we're going to move on to the next caller. Let's start with Jerome calling in from New York. Jerome, what would you like to thank President Trump for today? Oh, well, I'd like to thank him for at least giving it a try to reestablish the rule of law. However, he's out there by himself. He, he needs the uh, Department of Justice. That's the main power there, but unfortunately, that's all corrupted. They're trying to focus it all down there on that border, trying to create a race war. That's what that, you know, something to develop into something like they had in L.A. back in the 90s with Rodney King. Remember that? However, oh, yeah. They're definitely going however, for that. However, Trump is not a racist. If you look, if you come into this country legally, 90 percent or better are people of color. There are no, there's not many white people actually immigrating in legally into the United States. It's all color, different colored people. And he's more than welcome to bring those people in or help them come in in any way he can. Well, it's just crazy how they twist the narrative. It's like America takes in the most refugees. America gives out the most money for humanitarian aid. And then Democrats sit here and act like America's the bad guy. We don't take any refugees. We're not helping anyone. We're just a bunch of cold-hearted you-know-whats. And it's like they just change the narrative and they just base it on a lie. Thank you so much for the call, Jerome. Let's go to Charles in North Carolina. Charles, what would you like to thank President Trump for today? Thank you, President Trump, for securing our borders and waking up Americans by taking on the globalists head on. I want to thank President Trump for that. All right, Charles, thank you so much for your phone call. Let's go to Paul in California. Paul, what would you like to thank Trump for today? Yeah, I would like to thank Trump for being a Christian, willing to put his self-interest aside to become president and make the world a better place. Amen to that. All right. Thank you for the call, Paul. Let's go to Tim calling in from the state of Washington. Tim, what would you like to thank President Trump for today? Hey, Owen, you're doing a great job. I think uh, it's important to remember these guys aren't just lying, sniveling, incompetent boobs. They are propagandizing the American people. The thing I want to thank Trump for is for being like a founding father. The guy is like George Washington. The guy is like Abraham Lincoln in so many ways. He sets his wealth aside. He puts his pride aside. He puts his family up there. He takes the slings and arrows and the abuse of this bunch of incompetent boobs. He does it for you and for me. He's doing it for no other reason than to return this country back to the greatness that it was, respect the Constitution, and restore our country. I love the guy. I'd die for him. All right, Tim. Powerful call. Thank you so much. Let's go to Chase in California. Chase, what would you like to thank the president for today? Thanks, Owen, for taking my call. This is Chase the Patriot from the front lines of California. And everyone listening to this broadcast needs to thank President Trump for supporting alternative media and attacking the mainstream media. You know, a couple of years back, he went on the show during his campaign, and that really opened a lot of people's eyes to Alex's show. And now I'm even inspired. I'm going to be working with you, brother. I started my own YouTube page, Chase the Patriot. I'm, I'm on that reporter contest. I can't wait to help you guys out. Everybody go check it out and, and down with that mainstream media. And let me just say this. Thank you so much for the call, Chase. There are Democrat protests happening all over this country now every day. Pick up your camera phone. Go out to the protest. Ask these people, hey, do you know what you're protesting? Can you explain what your problems are with Trump's policies? Catch them. Make them face their own false reality. Make them face. Catch it on camera. This is what we need. Go out to these protests. Challenge them on their ideas, catch the madness on camera, and, and put it out there on YouTube. That, that That's what Chase is doing. That's what we need more people doing. Thank you for the call, Chase. Let's jump to Tony in Wisconsin. Tony, what would you like to thank President Trump for? 
Uh, I'd like to thank him for the same thing Chase has thanked him for, for calling out the fake news media. And I actually have done that on my YouTube channel, Tony Salvo. Uh, I went out during the May Day March, and people tried to attack me for wearing a Trump is my president shirt. And they had no reasons for attacking me. They're just pushing me around. like So it's pretty dangerous out there. If you're going to go out to these protests, be careful. Yeah, and, and I'm, I'm positive now that the Democrats are now going to put their operatives inside of the Trump people, the Trump marches, the Patriot marches to try to um, create a fake riot situation where they pretend like the sides are fighting, but it's really just paid well, operatives. in Milwaukee. Yeah, the Milwaukee. They said that the guy got shot. He got shot by a police officer, but they didn't give any information out about what happened. And then people started rioting, coming in from Chicago and stuff like that. So Yeah, and we have the tapes. I mean, I'll play the tape again of Aaron Black admitting that this is the Democrat operation plan. But, but it's just, you know, Project Veritas just catches the Democrats. Uh, red-handed saying that they start riots. But, you know, it's fine. It's fine. Just let the Democrat Party go on. Thank you so much for the call, Tony. Let's go to Chris in Georgia. Chris, what would you like to thank President Trump for? I would like to thank him for my children's future. The future of my children would not have had under Hillary Clinton. So true and well said. Thank you for the call, Chris. Let's go to Nick in Kansas City. Nick, what would you like to thank President Trump for today? Well, I want to thank God more than Donald Trump because I think God is sovereign. And just the fact that we have him as a president right now uh, to stem the tide of what's been going on, you know, since forever, since Jesus was crucified on the cross, you know, this whole plan that's going on that's around the world that is time immemorial. And really, we've got to realize that Satan is the head of this plan, okay? That's why this has been going on for so long. It's so orchestrated, so so much intelligence is put into it. We have, you know, an enemy, as Jesus told us. So I don't, I don't want to offend any listeners that aren't Christians, but seriously, I mean, you, you think of the octopus of the Illuminati and the octopus of, of what's coming down on this world. It is uh, uh, Satan, Lucifer, at the head. Orchestrated. No, you know what? No, 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 you're, you're exactly right, because... How do you explain uh, 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 Elizabeth Warren just being a, a bold-faced liar? How do you explain a Maxine Waters trying to start a civil war in this country? They're just, they're just Satan. Satan. That's what it is. Satan is now channeling Maxine Waters and Elizabeth Warren. That's what this is. Go ahead and cut that out, Media Matters. Go ahead and put that out, David Brock. Maxine Waters, Elizabeth Warren, and the Democrat Party are now being run by Satan. No, not Soros. I mean Satan. I mean Lucifer. That's what this is. That's the only way to explain that. Thank you for the call, Nick. All right. We're going to go back out to your phone calls, and we're going to keep this going, what you guys want to thank President Trump for. But, folks, in this break, go to InfoWarsStore.com and check out all of the great specials we have going right now. You know, I know I, if you aren't using Super Blue Fluoride-Free Toothpaste right now, I got I to gotta wonder why. If everyone that listened to The Alex Jones Show went to InfoWarsStore.com and got auto ship. Super blue fluoride free toothpaste every 90 days or whatever you want to put it on for auto ship, an additional 10% off. That would sustain our expansion. And it, we would be able to maintain it with just you using super blue fluoride free toothpaste and getting auto ship. It's 50% off right now. Why not use super blue fluoride free toothpaste from infowarsstore.com why not stop with the good guys everybody uses toothpaste we've got household items get your household items from infowarsstore.com wow boy you want to drain the swamp put a 12-year term limit on congressmen it's game over for swamp creatures like pelosi and warren and waters and schumer true true swamp creatures right there Let's go back out to the phone lines. What are you thanking President Trump for today? Let's go to Brody in Colorado. Go ahead, Brody. Hey, Owen. I love the show, man. It's great. I love every one of the info wars. Uh, I want to thank President Trump for getting us out of all these bad deals, namely the TPP, Paris Accord, and also the Iran deal. I mean, he's taking America's, America's interest first, and everyone can see it. Completely agree, and that's why the left hates it. Thank you for the call, Brody. Let's go to Pastor Sam calling in from Texas. What would you like to thank President Trump for today? 
Quick shout out to Chase the Patriot. He's my favorite amongst my competitors in the InfoWars Reporter Contest. InfoWarriors, check him out and get your votes in. If we do meet in Austin, Chase, I am going to tie your tie for you, though. When we were in Bible school, we didn't get any supper unless we tied a tie on. So we learned it right. I would like to thank President Trump for his intent. The job's only half done, but he's made a good start on enforcing the Monroe Doctrine of defending the Americas North and South against communist proxies and Vatican puppets. And it's really important today because Mao Zedong is being elected president of Mexico on this very day. He's got six months before his inauguration. But thank you, Trump, for patrolling the Atlantic and the Pacific and making America great again. All right, Pastor Sam, thank, thank you for the call. Let's go to Nathan uh, calling in from Vancouver, a Canadian patriot. What would you like to thank President Trump for? Uh, hi, I want to first like to thank uh, InfoWarsStore.com. I've got uh, Bodies, Brain Force Plus on auto ship. I purchased so many supplements, uh, books, T-shirts. I got two free books with Patriot Point. President well, thank Trump, you so much. You make everything possible, Nathan. Thank you so much. God bless you. President Trump, thank you for exposing the fake news industrial cockroaches as simply propaganda, just like Eddie Bernays wrote in his book, Propaganda. You got to read it, people. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Who, who am I? President Trump. Pr President Trump, a comment, a comment. Will you, will you stop attacking the media? President Trump. Pr President Trump. Well, he didn't respond. That, that proves it. Trump's a fascist. That, that shows it. I just did it. That's, that's, a, that's what we call the Jim Acosta. Let's go out to Ed in Maryland. Ed, what would you like to thank President Trump for today? Yes, I would love to thank uh, our great President Trump for exposing the mountains of corruption that we've uncovered in the last couple of years. And I would hope that there would be consequences at some point, but I guess we'll wait and see on that. But uh, that is what I'm most grateful for. And I'm assuming specifically you're referring to the FBI and how they FBI use the FISA courts Clinton, as well. But that's does everybody. I'll tell you what, too. So, this this Gary John Byrne lawsuit, the RICO case against the Clinton Foundation and everyone involved, and this money laundering thing that the Clintons are now getting hit with, the $84 million campaign funds. I mean, there is there is some serious meat to this bone. The question is, is there a prosecutor that has the bone to actually go through with it? Thank you for the call, Ed. Let's go to Robert in Pennsylvania. Robert, what would you like to thank President Trump for today? Oh, man, there's just tons of things you could thank President Trump for. I mean, exposing the political agenda from the opposition, I mean, bringing God back to the White House, just putting America first again. That's refreshing in itself. But if I had to pick one, just one thing, it would be giving us hope. Hope for America to return to the America we all know and love. And we wouldn't have the America that we know and love if Hillary would have won. I mean, she would have gotten two Supreme Court picks. It would have been over for the Constitution. She would have opened the borders wide open. It would have been game over. This country would have been checkmated. Oh, my. Oh, thank God for President Trump. I mean, look, just, yeah, it's, it's unreal. Let's go to Brad in Louisiana. Brad, what would you like to thank President Trump for? I'd like to thank President Trump for reminding us and demonstrating to us what a real man and a leader is about. It doesn't take a politician to run a country. It takes a real man and a leader. It's about truth, honor, candor, integrity, honesty, love for the people, and doing it on your own the right way. And, Owen, if I could, I think what a lot of people are trying to say with regard to um, the situation we live in with the uh, satanic leftists is that those who participate in that kind of evil are deceived. And according to Scripture, they perish because they refuse to love the truth. And God sends them a powerful delusion so that they will believe the lie and so that they will all be condemned who have not believed the truth but have delighted in wickedness. That's where these people are. Thank you so much for the opportunity to speak. Great job, Owen. Thank you, Brad. And, and they can't recognize the Satan. They don't recognize Satan when they see Satan like Maxine Waters or Elizabeth Warren. They don't understand what's really going on with this, and they don't have the basic knowledge that is, these people are just liars. And 
they can't believe that someone would stand up there and just lie to their face like that. Well, they don't believe in God. They don't believe in Satan. So they don't get it. That is Satan. When Elizabeth Warren stands up and says, ICE is separating kids from families. It's Trump's fault. That is Satan. Let's go to Bubba in Virginia. What would you like to thank President Trump for, Bubba? Yes, I'd like to thank him basically for everything, all the sacrifices that he and his family have made. That that man is awesome. He he doesn't need to be doing this. He could be hanging out, going to his golf courses and chilling out. But he, I've read several of his books. He loves this country so much, he's willing to sacrifice all that basically for all, for all of us to stick up for this country. That's what I'd like to thank him for. You know, and I really think, how many books has Trump written? Like 10? I really think that we'll see what Trump, if he ever writes a book about how he really ended up running for president and, and his mindset and everything. But but I think there's an aspect to it, and I don't know how, to what degree, but to see Barack Obama, a nothing, a nobody, literally a zero, become the president of America. I mean, the president of America, that should be one of the most, just the best humans that we have to offer like the most successful, the epitome of the American dream, and they give us Obama? They don't stack crap that high until they gave us Obama. Oh, but you know what? What was Barack Obama's expertise? What was Barack Obama before he became president and got into politics? A community organizer. A community organizer. I believe that man... Hussein, Satan Obama, is behind the scenes running the Democrat operations right now. Introducing Floralife, the new probiotic line developed exclusively by InfoWars Life after years of research on the human microbiome. Not all probiotics are made the same. Floralife probiotics use a unique targeted delivery system that bypasses the stomach and releases directly into the intestines for maximum effect. This is critical because stomach acid kills most probiotics. So if you don't have a targeted delivery probiotic, then you're cheating your gut health and your wallet. Floralife supports your body's core where you need it most, including digestion, regularity, immunity, the gut lining, and metabolism. Did you know that over 80% of your immune system is located in your gut? That's why increasing gut probiotic levels is so important for overall health. Floralife is sold as a 15 billion probiotic for everyday maintenance care and a 50 billion probiotic for a 30-day advanced gut restoration program. Head to InfoWarsLife.com to pick up your bottle of Floralife probiotics today. That's InfoWarsLife.com.